Uh, but strongholds, and I'm just going to kind of give you a basic definition. And here's the thing. When we talk about strongholds, especially in church, it's always in a negative light. Oh, that person's got a stronghold. Oh, really? In what area? And then it's like a bad thing. Well, we need to pray for them or whatever it is. Strongholds can be good or bad. And so strongholds are mindsets that are good or bad. Usually it's referenced as bad, but it's also, it can be good, okay? Now, bad strongholds are human reasonings that you have listened to and agreed with for so long that they now form the way you think. They actually rewire your brain to think in a certain way. And it makes you reason a certain way. Bad strongholds are actually sacred cows. Easy way to say it. If you have a sacred cow, you have a stronghold, and it's a bad stronghold because it makes you think in a certain way. Now, a sacred cow is a tradition of man. It's a wrong belief or something that people hang on to no matter even if you show them scripture, they'll hang on to it and they have to actually break away from that thing to see the truth. Now, uh, bad strongholds are actually sacred cows that keep you from thinking the way God wants you to think. A person with strongholds, and now sacred cows are pieces of a stronghold. Strongholds are the way you think. They color how you think as a whole. And these strongholds keep you from thinking the way God wants you to think, right? Now, for example, I'll give you some examples here. Uh, Stinginess is a stronghold that exalts itself against God's spirit of generosity. That's what it does, that in itself. And it usually comes from the fear of lack or the fear of the possibility of lack. So having abundance or... Not having abundance has nothing to do with the stinginess aspect. It's a stronghold, and most of the time comes from what you've been around, what you've listened to, and even how you were raised. It can come in there. Now, fear is a stronghold that exalts itself against faith in God and His love. If you fear, it's because you don't know God's love and don't have faith in God or His love for you. That's All fear comes from that. <clears throat> now, a good stronghold is a mindset that is in alignment with what God says about things. Now, that's a good thing. See, it's good to have a good stronghold in your mind, right? What does that mean? Well, I almost got ahead of myself. I'll read through this, and we'll, we'll, we're going to cover this and get to details here in just a minute. A bad stronghold starts with an idea that is not in alignment with God's word. So when you hear something that does not line up with God's word, that's a seed that will become a stronghold if you do not remove it, right? A good stronghold starts with renewing the mind to think in alignment with what God has said about something. That's really all renewing the mind is. When you renew the, your mind, you are building a good stronghold. That's what you're doing. Now, uh, for instance, <clears throat> sickness can be a stronghold right? But life, divine health, can be a stronghold. Sickness, you can have a stronghold of sickness in your mind. Uh, a lot of times, you know, we would call that a hypochondriac. That would be a person who is constantly, uh, not just in fear of sickness, but constantly thinks that sickness is going on. Now, usually that is attached to a spirit of infirmity uh, because it will try to make you weak, make you think a certain thing, constantly hit you. Every commercial that comes on about sickness, disease, drugs, whatever it is, <clears throat> it'll make sure you hear it, right? People will be talking around you, and yet you will hear that. Why? Because that spirit wants you to hear that so that it will build it in you. Now, there's a reason they call it programming on television. Why? Because they are programming you. And when you listen to something enough, you start to think that way. Now, notice it doesn't even have to be the same commercial. Because they'll have 15 different commercials all on different medicine, different problems, different symptoms, all that kind of stuff. And it's not the individual uh, medicine that's important there. What's important is they're trying to get you to think along the lines of you're going to get sick with something. And that, that what that does is it rewires your brain to think in alignment with the word, with, with the world and against the word of God. 
And so that's the whole purpose of it. Now, because they know if they can get you thinking that way, they can rewire you, and then eventually you'll be buying their products. Now, let's keep going. Uh, poverty is a stronghold. It's a way of thinking that results in a way of life. It, 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 it colors how you think about everything. Now, uh, blessing, which is the opposite of poverty. See, prosperity isn't the opposite of poverty. Blessing is the opposite of poverty. Prosperity is one part of the blessing, right? Now, that prosperity aspect or that blessing aspect can also be a stronghold, and it can be a good one. But then you can also take it into greed and covetousness, and it can become a bad one. So all of this is based on which direction you take it, right? It's what you decide to think about. Now, a stronghold is a habit of thinking in a certain way that has been reinforced to the point that there is no longer a need to think about the specifics in that area. A person already tends to think in alignment with that type of thought. In other words, they've been conditioned to think so. Uh, 